Must I Talk TV, yeah? Like, subscribe, and share, please, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today we're here with um, the, the, um, the producer of um, Scratching the Surface. Nitro, so yeah, bless up Nitro. Yeah, man. Nice yeah, man, everything good, yeah? yeah nice one, respect. Me on there, yeah, man, respect. Okay. Have a speak up, got a camera, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the mic, you know? Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what's your street name? Um, Nitro. Nitro, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, where was your band? Yeah, I was born in Rush Home, you know, just down the road from my side, innit? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so what, what is your background as in your um, your uh, heritage? Um, um, my, my mom was from East Africa, Sierra Leone heritage. Um, and my grand my grandparents were well, my dad was um, Jamaican Jamaican descent in it. So like my dad came over, my grandparents come over with the wind rush. So my dad, dad my dad was the first like the first generation in this country. You got know what I mean? Okay. To be born, yeah. Okay. So your granddad, um, your granddad still, still, your granddad still living. Yeah, yeah, my granddad's still alive and my yeah. grandma as well. My grandma's not too, like, you know, her legs are not too good mm, enough. Yeah, exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. Cooler man, cooler man, yeah. So, um, what was life for you like um, when growing up in Mossai? Well, when like I said, I grew up in Russia, I, mean, I didn't come to Mossai for ages, innit? Because yeah. obviously my grand used to tell me at the time, don't go on my side. Yeah. So I was scared to go on my side, innit? Yeah. Um, but like growing up and that was good. I grew up with Christian parents, you know what I mean? My granddad, my granddad was a Jehovah's Witness to tell you the truth. So yeah. there's like a little... Strictness. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there was always strictness. My grand was, my, 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 everyone would tell my grand wears the pants in the house, innit? <laughs> obviously, my grand wears the pants in the house. But um, my, 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 I went church with my with my grand in it, so I went Brooks Bar Church um, in, um, in near Wally Ray, where with the Wally Ray's pub was. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Brooks so I went Bar, there, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I went there. My grand's been going there for years. So like, I grew up in the church. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then as I was growing up, I used to like, I used to like doing athletics and used to do running and things like that. I was always good at sports, in it, very good at sports. Um, the academic side of things, I weren't too good at it. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it weren't really school work for me. Was it wasn't really. It wasn't really interesting, it wasn't nothing about no black history or anything mm -hmm. like that. It was nothing intriguing, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you never like that. No, 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 no. So obviously, they, they, you know, they tried to put me down the road of being like a sports, being like concentrating on sports. But, you know, as you know, education is the key, you get what I mean? But yeah. like, as I, I wish that I don't know now, looking back, you get what I mean? Yeah. Like, education is very, very important. Like, you know, I mean, all the street business, you can do all this and it can get taken away once you've got your education. No one can't take that away from you. Nah, you never, can't take that. Never. You can go anywhere and, let and go and do whatever you get. Yeah, man. Big, Once big, you have the papers, you can't get that. Can't get police can't take that. Not when you get nah. there. Nah, so, you're right, you're yeah. right. You know, youth, you see it, education and the key, you see it. So, um, next question we have for you is um, Have you ever been associated with any gang? And if yes, what gang? Um, yeah, obviously, everyone knows my story. You know, I don't have to go in depth with my story on how I got involved in the gang, but yeah, yeah everyone knows that I was with Daddy in the girl and Saint Joe. Yeah. Um, mm. You know, I had a little stint with man from Longside because obviously they had the same problems and the same enemies as we did back in the days, you get what I'm saying to you? Mm. And I knew the certain, certain, you know, certain members and certain people that knew for being excluded and all right, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? It was just one of them things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, what, what age did you join the gang? Um, I was going to join the gang, man. I think I was about... Wow. About 16, I think, because in the last yeah. year of school when I got expelled, so yeah, about yeah, 16, yeah. 16, 16, isn't it? 16, yeah. yeah. Mm. So um, what made you want to, um, want to join a gang at that age though? Um, there was a lot of things going on back in the days, innit? On the streets, Manchester, like, I don't think people could understand unless they lived in them days. But, yeah. Like, when you come out your house, man, it's like, it's, it's serious things you get on I me. Mean, you can't go running back home telling your mum and all that, you don't say to you. Like, mm. coming out, you know what I'm saying to you, 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 you talk to the people the wrong, the wrong way, man. Don't, don't, you know what I mean? You'll get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Man, we're physical back in them days. There weren't no knives or nothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But man had sort of, sort of just as bad as knives, you get on stage, yeah, yeah, you probably. Yeah, yeah, you get on stage, yeah, yeah. so like, man wouldn't knock, knock, it, knock the living daylights out of you, man. Yeah, like, there's some yeah, serious yeah. man that would go that being 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. But, but, but do you think that was just being, um, like, just being a, a young black youth within this community, or was it because you're in a gang, why you think you and people end up? No, no, no. In the beginning, I think it was just like a lot of things. Like, I don't know. I think people like sometimes when you look back and I think it's because I was popular and I didn't cause problems with people and I got on with everyone. Yeah. I probably saw him, probably thought, right, why has he got all that shine and I ain't oh, got that no, shine? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. why is it you get one saying to yeah, what's yeah. he got that I ain't got? You get one yeah, saying to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know, innit? I've always yeah, been popular. I've always carried myself in a certain way and fact, it's, it's thanks to my upbringing and how my grandparents yeah. have raised me. You get what I mean? Yeah, so and yeah. the granddad said to me, um, manners will get you a long way, you get me? And Definitely. that's always stuck with me, you know what I mean? And it has got me a long way, no matter where I've been, jail, here, whatever, you get what I'm saying? It's so got you a long way. And all to conduct yourself. Yeah, it's key, you know? So, um, what was your experience like for you being in a gang? 
um, it was a lot of things, you know, a lot of emotions, you know what I mean? It was a lot of emotions. I, I, was, I went from reading about these guys in the papers and like glorifying them and seeing and driving past every day. Obviously, I knew them, they didn't know me. I mean, I was only a little kid, I was a yeah. nobody, but we knew them, they were in the hood. There was no internet around or nothing like that. Do you know what I mean? So your heroes were like on the streets, you yeah. get what I'm saying to you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying to you? They were mad, right in front of you, you get what I'm saying to you? So, and like, you know what I mean? Like, I was young, bro. I, I even remember one time, like, I had like like clippings of like papers of all like Beach Boys when they all got locked up and all kinds and it was on I, I placed it onto the wall and I put it on a piece of big paper and put it on the wall like a poster that's how much it was glorifying this thing you get what I mean and like the brand will come in and rips it down you get what I mean and I was vexed you get what I'm saying to you <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, hey, yeah, yeah. Tired. it's just the like um in Jamaica, it's like being a politician. You get me? It's yeah. like you, your heart is in it. Like yeah. you, you get me? You will die for this because yeah. you believe in it. Yeah. But when you think about the end of it, it's just bullshit. You know what I mean? You don't listen to that side of it when you're young, it. But you got to understand that when you're young, yeah, you see, you, you're going to the blues and you see the, the man, the gangsters that are around you, like yeah. you're hearing about doing all this badness. You get yeah, me? Yeah, like yeah, real yeah. bad man. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, man. Yeah, so obviously, yeah. I'll be honest with you, bro. Like. Before I joined the gangs, yeah, all I see was Gooch Boys. I see Gooch Boys everywhere. That's all I seen. I didn't see no Doddy in, no mm. nothing or nothing. Mm. I seen Gooch Boys everywhere. I went Kenny Crescent, I seen Gooch Boys in there. I didn't see no Doddy in. I didn't know nothing about no Doddy in, do you get what I'm saying, sure? And like, you know, what I could associate with like the Gooch Boys or like the older ones, they moved in a different way. They moved in a very, 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 um, a very like military way. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, I felt to myself, it's like, if they said something, they would like, pay, they, they, they'd like, right, Man, they say right. Are we doing my man? It be like everyone's saying it, and if person saying nah, then they're not doing it. Do you get what I mean? There was a, there was a, there was a control of things. Yeah, 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 you get what yeah. I mean? So like, you know what I mean? I seen them at first, but then when the younger ones, I used to see them as being bullies and like beating up man and scary man so when that seen that energy i think we'd be the, like gravitate to that yeah and i'm saying to them when it, all the beach boys got locked in that's when i seen all the god in the man and you know me and i see people that i knew that i could associate with like yeah. once around them they were all right with me you get what I mean? yeah so obviously i ended up like talking to them and started making tapes for them and like started to get to know them to get what i'm saying yeah, so and yeah. i realized they're not that bad you get what i mean well not not when you don't cross them so, yeah yeah you know yeah. what i mean i've seen the good in different people I've yeah seen yeah people, of course you know i mean i've seen the good in all of them you get what i mean obviously i've seen the bad side of them but i've seen the good, good side, side of them yeah. as well do you get yeah. what i mean we're all human beings yeah, 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 yeah. we all make mistakes you know what i mean yeah, yeah. definitely definitely yeah, yeah. um did you think that enough was done um and um, back in the days um for the young black boys not to um went and um, to join gangs do you think enough was nah, done there was it? nothing there was nothing there was nothing at all in it there was nothing for black people like when i look when my grandparents talked to me and saw well we didn't have the education that you've got i understand what they say now because mm. back in the days we had them little back i don't even know what they were called like bbc for, uh, bbc um, ca um, computers and all that there was yeah. dead things no internet or nothing you get mm -hmm. what i'm saying mm -hmm. to you kids have got tablets now and all kinds of stuff man kids when I was young, man, like you used to have a piece of paper that you had like your school report on. You get yeah. me now. <laughs> I used to try and change the norm, try yeah. and change the letters. You get me? Yeah. Like now, kids are getting a sent. sent <laughs> you ain't no nothing. You nah. get me? You get in trouble in school. Your mum knows by the time yeah. you get home. You before get me? you even get before home, you get home. You get me? So it's yeah. like wow. Yeah. I used to get home now, like take the phone out the car and that because I knew that was great. I knew that if the phone, the phone would still ring, but it wouldn't ring on this side. You yeah. didn't ring in the dial yeah. thing. But then obviously my grand had already got the thing, like, and then she'd be like, right. You're not got nothing to say to me, like, oh no, you've been fighting this, that, you get me? Like, Fuck, bro. You get me? Yeah, yeah. It's funny, bro. You get it, yeah. Um, at what age or at what incident happened and that made you think for the first time that you being in a gang was the wrong choice? And if you ever think or feel that way? Um, there was a few times when I felt like that, do you get what I mean? There's a few times when things come heavy and like being in jail and thinking about what being is shit and mm. like, you know what I mean? And like, man are not showing you the love that you're supposed to be getting because you, you're putting in, you, you're doing your thing, you get what I'm saying to you. Mm -hmm. You're not getting that love, do you get what I'm saying to you? And I'll say this as well, yeah, that mm. I never got into the gang for, for money. Like, a man said to me the day that I said, a man said to him, like, you know what I mean? You'll get that in a gang, you'll get certain, man. You'll get ones that go in for the gal, you'll get one that go in for money, and go in, and then you get the ones that are really for the gang. You get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, that's you'll get that, you'll yeah. get these ones. Now, I went in it for the for the gal, and I went, I could get gal, you mm -hmm. get me? You need to be in a gang to get gal, mm -hmm. yeah? Like, the money, certain man coming with the, with, the, with the mindset of, like, I'm just going to get money, going to use these man and get money out of this yeah, thing, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a bad man, innit? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Well, it was me, it was the thing of the man next to me and my boy, whatever else, yeah. just being in the gang. 
you thought would have been kids forever, but all yeah. your things change, people's yeah. ideas, people, you know what I mean? Boys become men, and, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Just yeah. Egos loyal. get a little bit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Distorted and things like that. So, you know, things change, but, you know, I still stay close to my close boys, but, you know what I mean? Yeah, there was a lot of times, there was a lot of times where I knew that I made my bed, so I have to lie in it. Lie. I can't just come out of it and be like, yeah, but I'm involved in it. Like, like yeah, man, I'm going to church now, and I just like, man, you want to do it like you turn Christian and all this and I see man and like right yeah I've turned Christian and like nah man ain't this it's like still gonna get me so, nah, with your bible or what you get me you don't care if you got your bible yeah, nah, yeah, man yeah, is yeah. still pumping you up man yeah it's the life you're living yeah, in yeah, it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you said something before, and um, it's very important that um, these young guys understand that because you said um, at times being in the gang, you didn't feel, you know what I mean, loved or you didn't feel the, the respect or whatever. Well, not the respect, you didn't use that. Yeah, really, no, 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 you didn't. You'd respect yeah. sometimes as well, innit? You know yeah. what I mean? But what I'm saying is, um, yeah. I said that to say this, is because um, a lot of, um, even what, like I said, when he was in prison, yeah, it crossed your mind. But a lot of people don't think about these part because these are the rough bit. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Yeah, well, like yeah, you yeah. said, some people are in it for the girl, some people are in it for the money, some people are in it for you get me, just the gang. But what I'm saying is they don't expect the, 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 the outcome half the time. You listen, know? listen, let me put it this way, yeah? Mm -hmm. You can go and put in a lot of work, yeah? Mm -hmm. Go on some bad man thing or whatever else, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then man can like, like you really, you really got love for the man them, you get me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you can... The, the man them can do something to you, you think to, it's like a stab in the heart, bro. Like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. these man them that are willing to ride and die for have yeah. done this to me. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so then you, a little thing carries, so that little grudge carries on, you get what I mean? So you put that in the back of your mind, you think, you know what, all right, then fuck that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta play this game and you can't just come out of it. Mm -hmm. But you know, you start to transition. So you see a lot of things, you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of man that bigger than me that put in a lot of work in, bigger names than me that have died and nothing really happened. Mm -hmm. No one didn't put no work in for them. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I thought, right, the man are gonna ride out now, do this, do that. None of that happened, bro. Just like, you know what I mean? Weather the storm and then move on, you get what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. It's mad, isn't it? It's not, it's not, it's not, how, it's, not how, it's not what it's made. It's not, it's not, it's not what's on, it's not what it's made up to be. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not always look that glitter nah, with the nah, scene and think no, oh, no, that no, lifestyle, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, no. But um, so um, knowing what you know now, um, what would you do? Um, what would you have done different if you had a choice and um, to change things? Um, would you, would you say anything that you'd have done differently that you think? Um, oh. but I wouldn't have got involved in the gangs. You get me? I can't say nothing like like right now. I, I took it myself like yeah, the gangs. You know, I took I, I, I take the, the good things from from being in the gang life. And I don't know if there is anything, but there is good things. It teaches you certain things, you get what I mean? Mm. It teaches you to be, to know about certain things and certain situations, which is, you know what I mean? And I, I um, you know, you try and take the best out of any situation, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I never, I, I, I have to be honest, you get what I mean? Like, yeah. the gangster draw me in. I don't know what it is. If we knew yeah. the answer for why it draws us in and why we love it, and even though we know the outcome, you could get killed, you could go to jail, yeah. do you know what I mean? But, you but, know. But you know, um, I don't cut you, but you see, something that some people don't really understand mm. about the gang thing is, yeah, some people join it because they lack that strength and that company, mm. yeah? But at the same time, being in a gang, you can be so lonely and feel alone, like you said, at times. Because if you said, like, if you've been in a situation you get, you feel like someone betrayed you and you know you'd rather die for that person, yeah? That's how you're going to end up feeling in there and you're going to feel like, you know what I mean? What is all this about? You understand me? Yeah. yeah so yeah, now yeah. you start pulling yourself away. Now you start feeling like, oh, you've got no friends because they are not looking at you the same way that they used to look at you. Yeah. And now you're not looking at the whole situation the same way. Like I said, yeah. transition. Yeah. yeah. So now you start becoming a bit lonely because you're starting like. You start to realize what it is, what's going on, isn't it? I'm saying. You start like that. You start to get that little wake up call, isn't it? That little buzzing. You're like, right, this is right. You you start thinking, right, what my mum and that's kind of like true, what you're saying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I'll always say this as well. Some people like say with gal as well, isn't it? Like. I've had girls say to me like, Rao, I don't like him. And you're like, Rao, why don't you like him? But sometimes you have to watch what the person's saying that's looking from outside, you get mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm, it's true, bro. Mm -hmm. Or your mum might say, I don't like that boy, you know? Mm -hmm, don't mm -hmm. like him, there's something about him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you have to really understand what the people yeah, are saying. Yeah, you have to. But not until it's too late sometimes is when you do understand. Well, there you go, innit? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's most always likely the case. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, yeah? So, um, have you ever been to um, um, the prison? And if yes, um, um, if you if you don't mind telling us um, what what for and how long? Um, yeah. I've been to prison uh, for drugs and that, innit? And then I got locked up for a kidnap, attempted kidnap, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, um, like mainly for jobs, do you get what I mean? That's so, my fit. Go on, yeah, how, so how, how long have you have, have yeah. you spent, um, the longest you've spent in prison? Five years, I've got five years, three months. Five just, years, three months. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and uh, for the kidnapping? Um, that was more like, it weren't a kidnap, but obviously okay. it was done, done as a kidnap, do you get yeah. what I mean? But uh. that's another story, do you get what I mean? But yeah, I've got like three years for that, do you oh, get what I mean? three years, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, um, did prison change you? Uh, the pr um, did prison make you see things in a different way? Prison, prisons, 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 prisons what you make it, do you get what I mean? Prison, like... You know, like now, jail's different. When I went into jail, there weren't no tellies in jail. Mm. Like, my sort of bad way of getting through jail was with, uh, <coughs> was with, uh, was writing letters, you get what I'm saying? Mm. To back in the days, it was letters, you get what I'm saying? To with a little bit of scent of like, yeah. yeah, I was perfume on it, you <laughs> get me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm saying, so it's that kind of thing, like, yeah. you know, that smell of that perfume would bring you, like, reminiscing, yeah, you get yeah, me? Yeah. Mad too. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, just like, um, like, 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 jail taught me a lot, man, because you locked away your senses, you believe, you know what I mean? And, like, the worst thing that I always threatened about was in jail was, I always remembered, because I remember I'm living with my grandparents, that's who I know, you get what I'm saying? So my grandparents are like that. I don't want you ever coming to any of our funerals in handcuffs, you get what I'm saying? She just like that, that shame, look, want none of that. So that always took me my mind, like, ah, I'm going to get out there and see my grandparents, you get me? So when I got out, like, I was always happy to see, to see my grandparents, you get what I mean? It's like, yeah, man. You know what I mean? And like my kids, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not easy when you get locked up and you're away from your kids. And you, you know what I mean? When you have phones in yourself back there, you get what I'm saying to you. You know what I'm saying to you? So it's like, you know what I mean? It's, it's hard, man. You get what I mean? You're thinking about your girl. Is your girl getting like, walked out by it? I'm just being honest. I'm just being yeah, real. Yeah, of course, isn't it? When it's you're in jail, it? yeah, your mind is, is ten times... If you're paranoid, when you're in jail, your mind is ten, ten times, times worse. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. if your girl's not answering the phone, like, you're out here thinking, right, she's probably do so. When you're in jail, like, right, she's not answering the phone, yo. Why, what's she... she next man beating her or something, mm -hmm. you get what I mean? So, it's mm -hmm. different, bro. You and that probably I mean? end up wrecking relationships. You're wrecking relationships yeah, yeah, because yeah. I saw man on that phone constantly, like, yo, man, like, I was like, yo, burning out that phone. Like, man used bare credits and all that before. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I got our phones on them, yeah. like, inserted in them just so they can be on that phone 24-7. Yeah. Man, I rock him out with phones up the up, up the uh, batty <laughs> cheeks, bro. It's not easy to, 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 to keep that connection with the outside world. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. do none of that, but yeah. you know what I'm saying, bro? But you know, while you're on the, on, on, on the girl topic, yeah? yeah. Um, one other thing I heard when I um, come about from the, them, the, 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 the gangs fighting yeah. is, like, most of the fighting is caused through the women. Women. Um, yeah. I heard that in a little text itself, like with the cheating men and the, you know what I mean? Like, let me put it this way, yeah? I'm just going to be always honest with you, bro. Like, mm -hmm. every, I'm honest, every person who's come from Birmingham, yeah, and come to my side, in certain ways or another, has kind of done something dirty, you get what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, there's a certain individual that everybody knows, yeah, that came to my side, started selling man guns, yeah, mm -hmm. to the other side, and then started sending guns to everybody now, do you know what I mean? And this guy was very well known. And then, like I said to you, it went people from my side who caused it. It's an out of town now that come here, fucked it up, and went on. And the guy was a grass. He was an informer. I know that because I was around at the time. This guy was a no, he was an informer. Do you get what I'm saying? He's a bad man, but he's an informer. Man tried to kill him a lot of times, but he was an informer. Do you get what I'm saying, sure? But at the end of the day, I feel like when I look back and maybe my, my mind works on a bigger thing, but my side was like, my side was in the first place with the gangs. There was a lot of strong man in my side, a lot of strong, I'm not gonna say niggas, but a strong, yeah, black, black, strong, strong black, black men, yeah. you get what I mean? Not necessarily doing the right thing. Yeah. But like, I just feel like certain people are infiltrated to be brought into this area to destroy it. Do you get mm. what I mean? And you don't, you, can't, you, you don't know. Because you gotta understand, yeah, that white people are not dumb. They look, they like, they, they don't look like ten years ahead. They look a hundred and a thousand years ahead yeah, of yeah, us. Yeah, right. So they could probably see what was happen, what could happen. Like, who knows? Someone, who someone of, someone of, of great value to the black, black race would have come out of here. Who could have got us all together? I don't know. That's just how my mind thinks. Yeah, yeah, you get yeah, me? That's yeah, my yeah. own theory. Yeah, 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 but yeah. they mashed it up. And he mashed it up. You know, we're not going to mention names. But yeah. he mashed it up. Everyone knows who it is. Mm. And I've spoken to numerous people, and they've all said the same thing. It was just mm. one person that done it and caused problems, mm. and it just escalated. The wow. police weren't going to do nothing about it because mm. they're not harsh. It's a lot, a lot of black kids killing each other. Mm. Who cares? It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, so, um, so um, do you think um, um, the, the police could do or should do anything different to get uh, to reach out to these young gangs of youths today? Um, do you think the police can do anything to reach out to the youths, um, like the younger ones? Is it down to the police? 
Um, no, it's not. It's not, is it? Right, it's not down so, to the so, police. It's just as men, is it? Yeah. It's just as black men. Yeah, yeah, but um, the, the, the reason why I asked that question, yeah, mm. is, um, for example, um, maybe, because I've never really been through the system like that, so I don't really know. So I'm the just system's assume, about money. Yeah. The system's about money. The system's mm. about... What you got to see in America and what is, is happen, what happens in America is gradually happening over there. Mm. They're making supermax jails, yeah. Mm. They're locking up loads of people. Do you get what I mean? It's big money. The jails are getting privatized. Mm. It's big money. So you as one person, me in a jail, like probably if one person as a year mm. alone is probably one hundred and ten thousand pound a year okay. to, to to run one prisoner and feeding them everything. So imagine how much money they're making, they're privatizing it. So the more people in jail, it's not more, I don't think of it as a, it's a whole, like, when, we go, when you look, what color it, it, it's, bigger, it's bigger than what, what we're talking about in this little hood. It's all, you know, us little black kids and all that's killing ourselves and all that. Mm. It's just generating money for the, for the bigger wigs. There's a bigger plan behind it all. Mm. I don't know it all, but I know little mm. parts of it and I can't speak on what I don't know. I have to listen yeah, yeah, to yeah, something. Exactly, but yeah. I know a little bit, mm. if you get what I mean. But nah, it's, 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 it's not good, bro. Uh, I, I, I know what you're saying. Um, what is your views on knife crime? And do you think knife crime should be um, classed more serious than gun crime? Um, <coughs> for, um, do you think um, different? Um, 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 I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't carry a knife. I've never carried a knife. Um, yeah, but I just mean as in, you know what I mean? Because you're on the other side now. So I'm saying from your view and yeah. how these youths are going on now, it's, out there, you know what I mean? It's, I've got to think of it like, I've got, I've got, I've got kids that are not my kids that I, from my ex-partner, yeah? Mm -hmm. And like, obviously I see them at that age where they're getting older now, do you know what I mean? So I've got my little son. So I've got to think about what kind of future is it going to be for him? Mm -hmm. This knife crime business and all that, I don't know what it is. It's crazy, man. It's going it, out of hand. It's exactly you know what I mean? I don't think these kids really know what they're getting themselves into. No. Like, when they look at man, I don't think they know that. They how, don't. how serious it is. No. You get what I mean? So this is what, and that's exactly why I asked you the question, yeah. because I'm saying like, what is it that's going to be done to really slow this down? I even stop it fully because you, you, these youths, yeah, every day I, I, I see some of these youths, yeah, the type of knives these youths are carrying, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's not even like some little thing like this. You get me, yeah? What do you think? Oh, yeah, you, you, because they don't want, I, I'm not being funny, because they don't want to get close up in it. They want a joker man to probably be able to run in it. I, I understand. I don't know that. I don't know, bro. I, I know. But but I think it's just a thing of like, you know, you, 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 you're going on at the matter with, um, with, 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 with kid gloves on. You have to show these kids all the, what knife crime, what, what happened. Show them a person that's been killed. Show them how the body's been when they've been stabbed or something. You get what I mean? Mm. I've never seen someone that's been stabbed when their foot's are hanging out, bro. They need to show. They need to be a bit more, a bit more, a bit more um, mm -hmm. you know direct. I mean? Yeah, a bit more. Yeah, a bit more horror that's... and stuff, and that so they can see the outcomes of what's done. So you see, that's why. That's where I said to you, like when the police working in close community with the, um, do anything mm. different, he's like trying to build like a workshops around here yeah, yeah. trying to be more i'm not saying they should be more yeah, direct yeah. because people are not going to really listen to the police as in that's what we're, we're working with people like yourself yeah. who's been in these um situation yeah. who's probably going to be able to um, 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 um wise up these kids yeah. to the outcome you yeah. know what i mean yeah so um, the next question is uh, do you think a lack of um and um, black male figures in the household is one of the main reasons why black boys join gangs. Do you think that's got anything to do with it? Or, um, I don't, I think it's a mixture of things, you know. Mm. But I think as a black man, when I was young and I was like, I didn't have, I had a lot of, when I was going through puberty, like that testosterone, I had a lot as a black man, you go through it, you know what I mean? I don't know if the white kids are the same, but my testosterone and this, that was everywhere, you get me? Mm. And I was an angry black kid as well, do you get me? Mm. So then it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't go in the right direction. And then I can talk to my grandparents, and my grandparents, they went from like, like my, my parents' generation, they didn't understand things a little bit more in this country, do you get what I mean? It's like turn a blind eye, this, that, this, that, just pray to God and all this stuff, do you get what I'm saying? So, so I don't know, I don't know. Um, I, it's, it's a hard one, isn't it? It's a hard one, man. It's a hard one. It is a hard one, man. Eh? <laughs> but um, after your experience with Gang Life, if you could uh, do anything them um, to help and um, 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 adjust knife crime, what would you do? Um, I'd be a bit more like I won't, I won't, I won't, put, I won't, I won't, I won't wrap it up and cut a wall. You gotta show them the real, the, the causes of what, what the, the, the end reason of what happens with people. Do you know what I mean? With kids that are killing themselves. I don't know. Be a bit more gruesome. I don't know. I don't understand it. You know what I mean? I don't understand this culture if it's maybe because like people can't get hold of guns as easy as you can get hold of knives. I don't understand why it's gone like that. It's just crazy, man. 
you know what I mean? That understanding, what, if, once we get the understanding, then probably we can have a bit more answers, you get what I mean? And stop yeah. our kids killing themselves and, and yeah. get involved in all this stuff. Yeah. I think all this, 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 um, this, um, this music now that they're playing, you know, it doesn't help either. The drill. The drill music, you get what I mean? It doesn't help, it doesn't help. It's, no. just, it's just violence. Yeah. So, in Jamaica, yeah, um, last week, the, 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 the Broadcasting Commission yeah. banned all music that involves gun, um, any form of crime yeah. on the airways. You get me, yeah? yeah? In Jamaica, yeah, oh. or even on the TV, you yeah. can't show no, and no videos or about nothing like that, yeah? yeah? Now, I think the UK need to do something similar when it comes down to the jail scene, mm -hmm. because the jail scene is even have people mocking people's debt and family and all that, you know what I'm saying to you? Yeah. And, and, and all that is just um, 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 no, no farmer. I know, I know, I know what you're saying, yeah. but then what's going to happen to those drill rappers if they stop it? Then they're just going to go back out and shoot and it's going to be destruction and mayhem in it because they're going to be wanting to sell drugs again because that, that, that avenue is not open up for them. Maybe it needs to be regulated a bit more, do you get what I mean? I know, but that's what I'm saying to you, but how do you regulate if the, the, the message is killing yourself? You know what I mean? Because that's what I'm saying. That's where the line comes in. Because that's yeah. why we're saying what we're saying. Because the, the, the music itself is sending a bad yeah. message. It's not the music, it's the artist, isn't it? But that's what I'm saying. So should they ban what the artist says? Or if they say certain things? That's what I'm saying. It's the same similar thing in Jamaica. That's what yeah. they should do. Because in that way, it still would be about, you know, don't get me wrong. Because you get hold of it. It's, it's modern day now. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, like, yeah. but on oh, radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, radio, no, no, yeah. no. All the music that you hear with all that, like, like whack and all that with that music where you talk, your kids, yeah. your kids are talking about things like you don't, like, you know what it was really about. You get what I mean? These yeah. kids rap, rapping this shit away. You know what I'm saying? Like swinging hips and all kinds. Don't know what's going on. I'm like, yo, no, I see my daughter doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's <laughs> mad, me? bro. You get me? I'm going to school with my kids yeah, and I'm in the car man. and I'm here listening to Megan Stallion telling you to do this and do that. And I'm thinking, yo, cause. I, I don't understand. You get me? I've just turned my uh, uh, um, radio, my, my, my thing off, yeah. yeah. My my your, my, your music, my, your my music. SoundCloud off, yeah, <laughs> to turn it onto something because the kids are now in the car, so I need to play something appropriate yeah, for my yeah, kids, yeah. yeah. And then I heard Megan Stallion telling you to lick all this and all that. You understand? Cardi B saying pop this, and I'm thinking, yo, what the <laughs> fuck? You know what I mean? I can't listen to Smooth FM, bro. You get me, yeah? So I don't understand none of this. So the catering, the catering, to, the catering to the masses, isn't it? It's madness, you bro. You know what I mean? Even not even the word sex, I don't think should be allowed to say on the yeah. radio, bro, at yeah, a certain yeah, time, bro. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Because my little daughter, to be thinking that she's knowing and thinking about sex, I don't, I don't want to know that, bro. You understand me? Yeah, they don't reach that age yet. Yeah, yeah, you understand yeah. what I'm saying to you? Yeah, and it's all disrespect, but at the end of the day, who is we to talk anyway? Well, you got to... It, 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 it's, it's, not, it's not easy, innit? You can watch your child so much and watch, watch, what, but they still, they still got the outside influences when they go out the house, innit? This is what I'm saying, innit? You get me? The, um, so... When, how would you um, feel if someone could sponsor a three days, um, three days a week workshop? run and managed by people who have walked the walk and live the lifestyle like yourself yeah. yeah so for example um what i was um, saying is like in the community now i believe they should be people like yourself yeah. who's been through that who are the younger generation who is come like you're saying showing the kids direct and yeah. um, um, what could be the consequences of what happened take them to some jail boot camp yeah, stuff man. like that you know yeah, what i mean because yeah, yeah, yeah. they're not even doing that you yeah. know what i mean taking the kids to jail boot yeah. camp letting them see listen locked up for a week left your mom and your, and your dad and see where i go on you understand what i'm saying to you when you see next boy in there they thump up your face and that and see how it goes you understand what i'm saying to you yeah because a lot of them don't yeah, know the reality yeah, yeah, yeah. of the situation yeah, yeah, cousin yeah, yeah, no, you know, know what i mean know. that's what i'm saying that's yeah. what they need man. and they need the reality yeah. so that's what i'm saying so, if, so i believe it would be a good idea yeah, for someone man. to come up with a workshop yeah. with a younger generation like yourself yeah, yeah. and and being sponsored even three days a week yeah. and get these kids to go on you know what i mean take them to see the police take them to yeah, see yeah, on yeah. trips Take them to see people, like I said, at the Marg. Yeah, man. You know, that's what I'm saying to you, because at the Marg, you need to see these, man. And with that bro, like, let them see that more. Let them see this. You need to. Wait, like, last look, you know what I'm saying? There is that. That's what you've done. And you need to look at this 25 years that you're going to be in prison for. You know what I mean, yeah? And see where I go on, yeah? I believe my personal take on the knife crime, yeah? I we've got to as well, we've got to speak to the people that have probably caused it and they're in jail doing life, doing life now, these young kids, and what are their aspects on it? Because their whole aspect of change by being in jail, the boys won't be around for them. 
the, you know what I mean? True. The girl that they thought was going to wait for it going to wait no 25 years. You True. get me? They lose everything. Yeah, so we have to hear from them as well. It has to be on a universe. This is what I'm was saying. Was that positive? This is what I'm saying. So you see, that's where people like yourself yeah. would be able to transition and to bring these young yeah. guys who think they want to be, uh, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to meet these people who actually done it and been in the situation who are still at that age and looking at 25 in front of them man just started and he's got 24 left yeah, yeah. you know what i mean yeah he's when already, is he? and he's already balling and all he's that already balling he's 24 this is what i'm saying i don't want to do this one i wish i never done it this is the things what they need to see yeah. you understand so this is what i believe you they can't wrap it up in cotton you can't man it's brutal, it's you, can, you have to be and well, let me say this as well yeah before yeah. I go back you see one thing before mm -hmm. like a lot of more of these men need to be around their kids and all that but a lot of men hate around their kids, right? And as well, yeah, you know, a lot of men have been around their kids and the parents and their kids, their kids have seen them probably beat their missus up. So yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of men can't really go to their son and say this and that. Yeah, their no son's example, waiting yeah. for them to say so, <laughs> yeah. so I could just try these UFC views yeah, yeah, yeah. on my dad and knock him the fuck out for what he done to mommy. So you get me? No respect is there. Bam, bam, bam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so no UFC views on yeah, the guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know ain't got no one to try out. I wish you would. Let my dad come and talk to me. Mm -hmm. Let him talk to me. Yeah, come let him talk to me, yeah? Just come out here, let me talk to him. Mm -hmm. I'll knock him the fuck out. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Once they get to that age. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's too yeah, late yeah, then, yeah, you get me? Late, yeah. So a lot of people like me with me, like, why are you strict on your son? Why are you so harsh with your son? I'm strict because I don't want my son to ever think that he could come to me and try and test me. Because I'll knock him out. Do you get what I'm saying, yeah, sure? Yeah. You well, at the day, yeah, as he gets older and I break it down to him, like, some, sometimes I'm harsh on you because I don't want you to go down the same route that I went. Yeah. As he gets older, I'll talk to him, I'll keep it real. Yeah, Do you yeah. get what I mean? Yeah. And, that, and, I'll, and, 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 then, and then we can begin to build a bond. I know what I want my son. I don't ever want to see my son no more. Don't ever, because I am not one of them dads that's going to accept it, brother. I'm not. So, 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 this, this is what I say now, yeah? So, I've not got a son. I've got pure daughters, in it, yeah? But I had a stepson once, yeah? And then... Um, Part of my experience was, uh, I, I saying, yeah, was key, was for me to keep him away from certain lifestyle, but at the same time, he needs to be streetwise enough yeah, you got to, to, know, to know about the answer. When you so, to see a problem and know when to walk away, when to saying. register it, you got to have street knowledge. But you see, sometimes shielding away the kids from a certain lifestyle, sometimes, yeah, yeah. like you just said before, like don't want him to go down certain routes, which yeah, is fair yeah. enough. Yeah, if you shield them away too much, then when they get to a certain age, they won't know about that situation. And they'll get curious they about this lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. That was me, that was me, like. When I learned about the badness and that when I was yeah. watching, I didn't want I thought, ah, this is good, this I sucked yeah, it yeah. up like a I sucked it up like a like a, a like sponge. A, like a sponge, you get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the only thing that got me through them times in the streets with my with my it wasn't because I was lucky or I knew the streets or mm -hmm. I did all sussed out. Mm -hmm. It was just by the grace of God and my grandparents, my grand my grand my grand praying, you get me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm. So my grandparents' prayer got me through this, bro. Yeah, you get me? You know, you feel it. Yeah. Cooler man. And then what advice would you um, give to anyone who is in a gang or thinking of joining a gang? Um, um, would you have any advice from your experience? Um? There's going to be some people that are going to join a gang, in it. It's, mm -hmm. the, it's the law of physics, in it. But yeah. like, I'll try to tell you, you want to join this gang, yeah? Don't think it's going to be all how you expect it to be and getting bare gal and this and that. There's going to be down times. There's going to be more down times and up times. Mm -hmm. But be ready for that. Do you get what I'm saying? To be ready Prison to see time. your friend get killed and not and uh, and open that your man never gonna ride and not ride and it's probably just you one that wants to ride and you can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Sure. You're gonna see a lot of man that are snaky. You'll see man that are a lot of snakes in the grass as you go along. Do you mm -hmm. get what I mean? The prison time when you think that your boys are gonna be visiting you, it's not, it's your mum, it's your family, they're the only people that are gonna mm -hmm. be visiting you. Stressing you get them me? out. Your kids are gone, your kids are gonna be calling someone else dad. Do you get what I was just telling you the truth? Mm -hmm. Your kids are gonna be someone else, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Your girl like, yeah, he's away. Man, he's in mm -hmm. jail, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to do nothing, bro. Especially if it's that Jamaican, you're not going to even like it because it's these yardies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do nothing. You get me, Frederick? You, 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 you get me, Frederick? You're a good pyramid out there, yo. Did you yeah, see yeah, that yeah. yardie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's not even funny, yeah, it's but we just. It's not funny, but we're just funny. I'm telling you the truth, though, that. You get me, yeah, yeah. Um, what advice have you got for our dad that's not trying to teach his son the way? Um, you have to deal with the consequences when it comes in it. Mm. Yeah, it depends how you're managing it. If you look at your son and you can try and do if you've done your best thing, all I can expect is like a lot of people, like a lot of women, especially black women, put on dads like you're not doing this, you're not doing that, you've never done this, you've never done that. And if you've done something, you've done something in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We need to do better as black men, but mm -hmm. we're trying, a lot of us try to get what I mean. 
You know, we've got a lot of things to deal with. Got, like, you know what I'm saying? When you, <laughs> another thing as well, when you're with a man that's been in the field, you have to understand that man, what he's been through. Mm -hmm. And some of it's, you can't talk about that car. Mm -hmm. All his life's been not about talking. Mm -hmm. And when you're dealing with that, you want this, you want this man, this road man, this road thing, you get me? That it's like, <laughs> you got to take what comes with it. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, a lot yeah, of PTSD, yeah. a lot of stress. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of broken promises that a man are going, I'm yeah. not going to go back to jail again. Yeah, next minute, six months mm -hmm. down, he's just come he's out after eight, back in jail, you get me? Cold shoulder. Get me? Oh, like oh come on, man. You get me? Be ready for this. Thing, mm -hmm. but it's not it's not it's not as it is you get what nah. i'm saying to you yeah 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 people have to understand in it um what advice have you got for a mum that's trying to um that turning a blind eye to um to what her son is up to until it's too late because you know some of the mum them is wrapping the son them in woolly yeah, woolly thing now all the time i see it all the time, yeah. The time yeah my son don't do this my son don't do that nah. my son don't do this your son's out on road looking down man and doing this and doing that bad bad things and you know it mm -hmm. you get me you know what i'm saying Know what it is, don't try and make out like your son's not involved in something and something happens to him. Yeah, I know innocent people get hit, but if someone gets lit, it's obviously you know something he's been involved in something. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying to you? Don't let him go down that route, or you're gonna have to end up being seeing your son at a morgue or in jail doing life, or he's killed somebody, and you might have to move and uproot yeah. your whole life because you're moving all your family. But you know, more so, you're gonna live with that guilty you're conscience, gonna live with that guilt that you knowing that you know it, yeah. and act like you didn't know. Yeah. So that's the main one. You get yeah. me living with that conscience, knowing you know. And you know what I mean? And you didn't do anything about it because yeah. you are thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, he's not doing that. And you know he's doing it. Yeah. Speak to him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Try and teach him in the right way. I'm not seeing a lot of these young black boys going to colleges these days and leaving to university. Once they get to 13, 14, man want to be on the corner. You understand what I'm saying? You're standing about, you know what I mean? You see your man starting going... You get me, you, you, you. I'm not saying give up on them, but I'm saying, you know what I mean? We need to see more of these youths coming through. Last year, I understand, yeah, yeah, that it's a lot better than what it used to be. Mm. Like when I was off school, when I left school, everybody was off school. After we left school, that's that, that road that I was like, expelled from school, straight mm. to road, straight to jail. Wow. That man, that, there was nothing there. There's a lot of black kids now that are like, nah, forget that gun thing. Nah, mm. you mad. I want to go out and make money and get mm. gal. You mm. mad. Gun thing. True. Get me. You get true, me. True. But, but, but a lot of them still get caught up in that oh, gun yeah, thing because cause man still seen them and hating on them because man seen them, okay, yeah, he's wearing a flat, driving a nice car, he's, yeah, he's yeah. in a nice train. You get me? Yeah? So he's trying to go over there to check a girl and then next thing you know, man's whipping out things on him. Yeah, you get man's me? Yeah? Taking his and shine taking his shine. You get me? Yeah? This like, what I'm saying you know to you. Saying. But listen to this, bro. Go out, like I say to everybody, go out and go and get your own stuff. Go out and mm -hmm. go and do your own thing. Go and make your own money. Yeah. Don't be yeah. what hating on the next man. Mm -hmm. Hating is one of the worst things you can ever be. You'll never mm -hmm. get nowhere being a hater. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And try and do some legal money. Do you some legal, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, up, trust me, man. The money's in illegal money now, man. Trust me, man. All these drugs and all that's coming to an end. It's coming to an end, bro. What do you mean? Right now, people have to know this, Bejin, yeah? We're living a life right now, and for the black community, yeah? We are not doing good enough, you understand, yeah? And what I'm realising, yeah, every other race, yeah? It's flying. It's flying, you understand, yeah? People who've been here, how many decades ago, and some people just come the other day, and they flew in past us, you understand, in every single way. You know what I mean? And, and we're not looking out on anyone specific, you know yeah. what I mean? But we are saying as a generation, we are not doing enough. And we're seeing... So my problem is this, bro. Yeah. yeah. Is, like you said, your parents taught you well. And you know this. Yeah. But look at how you turned out. So think yeah, about yeah. what I'm saying to you now, yeah? And that's no disrespect. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah, talking yeah. facts, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah? So look at the facts now, yeah? You are teaching your kids now stuff. But you are now knowing that, okay, this generation that's coming it's a different generation they don't even want to know so the question i'm coming with what is it they're going to teach their kids bro <laughs> <laughs> so this, that this, this is what i'm trying to say to your cousin so we, 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 we technically we're fucked bro yeah because we are going back in slavery yeah. whether we like it or not because this generation is trying to come out yeah half of us but with the dumb generation that's coming after who don't want to know nothing, who don't want to learn nothing, yeah? Who's going to teach them anything? Because we, we haven't got time. Society's not going to teach. It's a scary scenario. It's a scary scenario, bro. So what is it that they're going to teach their kids when their kids yeah. born, bro? No history. I always look at things and I always look at America and I always look at like how America is in it. You know what I mean? I always think to myself, like, things are getting bully out here in, in, out, outside of the world. You get me? It is. Kids are starving, like with what's going on with the with, with, with all yeah, yeah. Kids are starving, not eating a meal. You know yeah. what I mean? And 
I don't know, but it's getting very, very serious yeah. out here, man. Well, I believe it's deliberate because it is. It, it is. It, it, how can you be sending how much billions to to support a war in Ukraine that's cutting off the same um, um, gas and um, that you're supplies. getting supplies yeah. to you? Yeah. yeah. How dumb is that? You're cutting off your nose to spite your yeah. face, yeah. and at the same time, your people them are suffering. Everyone is suffering. Why didn't you give the people them here that money? Hmm? Yeah. You're sending all this money to buy them. Yeah. You listen to me. These people, Ukraine ain't winning no war. Yeah. America and Britain is winning the war. Yeah. You understand what yeah. I'm saying to you? Because they are there fighting. Well, yeah, you actually have to understand that. They'll always be in there, in there, in there, that Ukraine will always be in their pocket, innit? But that's what I'm saying to you, though. That's why they want to keep it that way. Yeah, you, go, you know man. what I mean? Yeah, but anyway, back to the serious topic, because we're not politicians anyway. We're just, <laughs> <laughs> we're just trying to, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah so the last yeah. question for your fam, yeah? yeah. And what advice would they give to your parents about the, um, the awareness of joint enterprise so that they can talk to their son, sons? about it because the the, the, the the girls are doing okay you know what i mean for most of them most of them the boys are the issues so my issue like i said i keep bringing this up with the giant enterprise yeah, giant enterprise is a serious thing man. i don't know about it yeah. and i don't know much about it but what i do know is yeah a lot of boys are going about their business yeah and they are not aware that if their friends get into some situation and they are there then there will be punished for the same crime yeah. that their friend done even though they wasn't involved or yeah, they weren't yeah. interested in doing yeah, the same yeah, thing yeah, so yeah. so this is what i'm saying so give me your um, take on them and what you think yeah? um i don't know everything about the, the joint enterprise but i know that if i've got a if you've got a friend with you yeah mm -hmm. and you got a, i'm trying to say to you, you now you got a hothead friend yeah because mm -hmm. i've seen a man talking about it and he's cheap if i if i go out with friends we've always been out with friends and luckily enough yeah most of the time, the man them listen, but like, it's a thing of like, if I can't talk to my friend and say, right, yo, loud that, loud it, mm -hmm. and he's not, and he's like, yo, get off, yo, yeah, that, that, this, this, all that, you know what I'm saying, mm. see? Like, loud all that, you get me? You're gonna get man locked up or something, kind of, loud it, can't do this air now, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm just talking like a from a G perspective. Yeah, yeah. Can't do that air now, you get me? Next time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't, if you can't talk to your boy to cool the situation down, yeah. then you, I don't want to be around that person. Mm -hmm. like you're going to get everybody locked up. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But at the you? same time, it's because, it's, it's, you know, sometimes things kicked off so quick. Yeah, it yeah, kicks off. Isn't where it? you don't even aware. Sometimes because it goes out of your situation. That's what I'm I don't saying. know. You just, just don't go out. When man get drinking and start taking their little things or whatever, <laughs> their thing and thing and thing. You get me? I don't know. You get me? You know what I'm saying? I see man that going out there, all right. And when they're in town, it's like, right, they're barging, right. It's down on what they're on. You get me? Yeah, like, yeah, yo, they're looking yeah, for yeah, that yeah. energy. Like, right, I get scared around them people. Yeah, I know what you're saying, people bro. People barging past and all that mm, energy. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, but I don't know. You got to know how to carry yourself, man. Everywhere you go, you got to know how to carry yourself. And you had to carry yourself in jail. And they got none of my teeth then punched out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A man made my, uh, my face. I don't want my face getting mashed. Yeah, yeah, I still yeah. got all my teeth. In <laughs> my teeth are still here. I don't mind. I've been pulled up in jail and I lost a couple of teeth. And you get me? Yeah. So uh, you got to know how to carry yourself. Yeah, and like I've yeah, said yeah. to you, my grandma says, man, it gets you a long mm, way. Yeah, yeah, I've so carried that into every situation, bro. Yeah, yeah. So respect. You get me? You get me. So not until someone disrespect you. Yeah, you then know obviously, you someone knows if someone does something to me, it's because of a reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not going out there causing trouble. Mm -hmm. like, no, I'm round in my side. You see me everywhere you go. Yeah, you yeah. get me? True. You know what I'm saying? That. Yeah. So yeah. I say, that's just how I live my life. You yeah. get me? That's just how it is. Yeah, and you know that's how I mean? it should and be. Let me put it on, on, on a last aspect. Yeah, I know yeah. I knew man from I know man from every side. You get yeah. what I mean? A man that I went school with cheating there. Long side man. I know beach boys. I know guys that we grew up with the raw chain side. You know what I'm saying? I knew a lot of man over there that had good characteristics, funny guys, mm -hmm. staunch guys. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Honestly, with my side, a lot of staunch man, a lot of good guys, a lot of good people. Yeah. And they lost their lives over some bullshit, bro. It's some joke things. Joke. Joke things. All jokes. Joke things, man. You know what I mean? And I want to say that, you know what I mean? I don't care what anyone's got to say. I don't give a fuck. That, you know what I mean? All the man, just rest in peace to all them man. You know what I mean? And I hope that we can grow from this and try and teach our kids that this is not the way. You no. know what I mean? We don't need that one chest or title. No. We don't need that. No. Let it go somewhere else. You get I me? Mean? What I know about these kids being entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? No one has to set up business. Why can't we run like that? Why, why can't man just have a, a okay. rush like a fair man setting up business same, and become bro. millionaires yeah, and all yeah. that? Go down that route, innit? You, you know what I'm saying? saying? It's possible. But obviously we can't. We've got to come together as people, man. Can't, it's all that hating on the next man. 
That's what's killing us off, bro. It is, bro. The heat's what's killing us yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is it, man. No unity, no love, bro. As soon as a man see an ex brother going up, you get me a man telling himself, oh, yeah, yeah, watch him. Yeah, man. But he ain't trying to lift his brother, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. And that's why, you see, I don't really do religion, bro. But I believe, I love how the Muslims live, bro. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. yeah. Because they support each other. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying to you, yeah? In every way. Yeah, they, don't get me wrong, you know. Well, I'm not saying anyone is perfect, still got you know. A lot of things going this on behind the scenes, what I, bro. That's why I just said to you. That's what I'm saying, you bro. Get me? You get me? Don't think that but, a lot of Asian man it come to me about you. I got this guy, brother. This, that, and this, that. No, I understand, but that's what I'm saying to you. But we don't see. You get me? Yeah. I'm rapping up, bro. I know, but I'm saying to you, but we don't see that to the front. Yeah, as much as we do the with our brothers now. The good living Muslim man, like the good, the good hearted, the good, they'll bring you in, they'll bring whatever you get on saying yeah, sure. Yeah, but we've yeah. got to start looking at ourselves and helping ourselves. This is Stop it, looking to the next man, man step to Fucking, we need to start looking after ourselves. This is it, brother. Start loving ourselves. But where know? do we, apart from that, where do we start? You gotta start, man. You know, I say you gotta start. You gotta start from. You gotta start from the youngest. Start from the kids. Start from birth. I don't know. In, in primary school, you get bro, me. I'm you gotta start you, bro. back. You but, get bro, me. But that's it's like too a, late for this. That's I say it's saying. too late for this generation. Too late, that, bro. Of course now, it is. It's a little too late. But we can put something in, 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 in perspective. In, in, yeah. In, in thinking for the kids that are growing up behind us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But on, you see, bro. but you see, part of that issue, what we're having. Is that because those kids that we're talking about now is is the one younger than us and this is what i'm saying those kids that we're talking the, the baby that we need to start teaching the stuff now is their kids yeah you know what i mean so who needs to teach them is these guys that we're talking about some now of them, you know some mean? of them will so, learn some of them will learn as they get older they yeah, will learn and yeah, they have to learn the, they will learn the hard way yeah. i learned the hard way mm -hmm. and it's a long road mm -hmm. you get me mm -hmm. just yeah, prepare yeah. to go down that road it's a long long yeah. fucking road yeah, yeah. And only because of my personality and people have stuck with me and fought with me mm -hmm. and my parents have not lost faith in me. And, you know, gradually I did come out the other side. Mm -hmm. So it is possible. Mm -hmm. You can it be is. anything you want to be, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything you want to be. Mm -hmm. Just anything you want to be put your mind to it you put your mind to it i've seen it bro mm -hmm. look at me yeah i started this documentary and this is the road i want to go down mm -hmm. and i pray to god yeah i thought i was away from god and i pray to god and i'm not no madman thing i pray nah, to god man, you I get me i come for i'm a grind pray to god and you know what yeah i've been awarded for the note for, for i've been nominated from 20 people down to six people for for this for this for outstanding yes, for outstanding yeah. documentary yeah, bro. Well, that's you big that me? yeah so it yeah. shows, man, positive. And I've not even started, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. You get me? You got a long way to go, but you know you can make a change. I know and I can. You I get know me? I yeah, can. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've you will make it, a man. change, bro. You get me? And this is what I like. You get me? Yeah, the fact that we can do this together yeah. and we can try and bring it out there and try and put something out there. Because what we're saying is, yeah, it's all for the community, yeah, and it's for the youths. The youths are the future, yeah? Oh. And if we don't have leaders like ourselves, teaching our youth we can't expect them like you just said we can't look to the next man to teach our youth because at the end of the day this is our culture mm. so we have to teach them our way the yeah. next man thing is their thing yeah. you understand what i'm saying to you yeah so how we're gonna try and you know what i mean do this as a unit and try and get started yeah. you know what i mean yeah but like i said let's start with the kids but yeah. most side talk tv yo nitro big you know yeah yeah so please share like and subscribe yeah most side talk tv oh yeah oh